So, are you ready for the cringy various stories from my childhood? It will be so cringe and so like close my eyes, cover them with palms and palms, double face palming stories from my children's time yes children and uh, let's do this right now by the way who am i i'm a russian man who brings value to my own experiences and maybe the story will uh, will be funny for you and please don't judge me after listening to them because there's something really Ooh. Well, let's let's talk firstly from the kindergarten if you are familiar with kindergartens and if you were in them, then you have toilets in kindergartens, yes? Uh, and uh, let's start from the kindergartens, uh, firstly. You have uh, uh, right now some, maybe, I don't know, uh, intrigue, yes, of, of, of toilets, and let's start it. In Russia, we have kindergartens. And there are many plenty of children. They are running and they are kicking each other. They are uh, kind of don't eat uh, food that inside of this kindergarten because this porridge is with some small, I don't know, do you know, manka. Manka is uh, something porridge, Russian porridge. And uh, it means it made by corpse and something like this. And uh, inside of it, you can find some balls, a bowl of porridges. And so they are sticky and uh, not nice. But talk not about it. I was uh, with, uh, I was a friend with one girl. I was almost four or five years old and she's name is Nastya. It's amazing that uh, I will call her name, but I, I don't think that it will be nice or bad. So it's okay. And uh, her name is Nastya. And uh, she was communicating with me. I was communicating with her. We were a kind of friends uh, till the moment uh, when we went to toilet. And <laughs> as you know, and maybe Maybe you don't know. In Russia we have toilets, they are in, in kindergartens, they are public places for both males and females, children, boys and g children, girls. <laughs> and uh, do you know that in these toilets you have opened cabins, open cabins. And uh, Jesus Christ, I don't want to talk about this story. And uh, Inside of these uh, toilets, uh, one day I asked her, like, uh, oh, whoo, I asked her, can I touch your pussy? <laughs> and uh, it, it was uh, in a way of uh, scientific research or something. I was like, uh, this type of guy, um, how to say it, scientist, Igor, can I touch your pussy? And then... Uh, then she said, yes, but firstly, you can give me your toys. And <laughs> it was, she said something like this. I don't remember fully, but kind of exchange. It is a prostitute inside of the kindergarten. You give me toys, I give you touching my pussy. And uh, she she agreed, and I agreed, and after some days I started to give to her my toy soldiers, also some uh, some toys from McDonald's, from Happy Meal. So, Jesus Christ, I gave to her a lot of toys, and my parents started to be noticing you. What the hell is going on? Where is your toys? Where are they? Where are, where are they going? And... Uh, it was story of it, and uh, one day I remember when we were exchanging this type of touching, touching pussy to toys. I gave to her my favorite uh, rabbit, white rabbit. I had a rabbit, a white rabbit toy, like teddy. I I don't know something like with fur, amazing, white, cool, and I gave it to her, and at one evening. When I should go out from the kindergarten, my my mom came and asked me, "But Igor, you w went to the kindergarten today, today's mo today's uh, morning with a rabbit. Where is your rabbit?" 
and I <laughs> already I already exchanged the the touching pussy to toys and it means that uh, toy was with Nastya and I ran ran the, the, my mom said to me where's your rabbit I ran faster to the Nastya and took the rabbit to me <laughs> <laughs> it was mine now and I came to my mom and after that I went away with a rabbit and also with touching pussy today and uh, Jesus Christ it's so cringe and uh, it's uh, I don't know but please don't judge me for it and also some uh, some days uh, also we have not some days but in Russian kindergartens we have bats Bats when we when we sleep yes like sleeping uh, as a baby baby and uh, it is the time for sleepy sleeping time in in uh, the midday in noon you have noon sleep in kindergarten in Russia and I was uh, remember that our beds we were near to each other like nice to hear and I'm here and sometimes like Jesus Christ I don't say it it is like you are lying you are uh, you are going with your hands to another position to to the girl and you are touching her genitals and uh, it is really but she didn't touch my testicles by the way and uh, it was only my way of touching and uh, it was four or five years old I don't know why I was doing it uh, if you have some stories like this let me know I think that uh, everybody has uh, <laughs> this type of stories maybe <laughs> from their childhood it is maybe the first uh, conscious contact with girls that I had in my life in this way of nature if we can call that uh, I am I have virginity or don't have virginity, then I can truly say that I lost my oral virginity at four or five years old. Kind of of it. But sorry, it is so... And uh, Nasty, if you are watching me right now, uh, please uh, be okay with it. I hope that you are nice and you are right now not a... Uh, not a easy girl that go into one moon, a man to another because you understand as you are a viewer maybe that this thing that happened uh, right now can uh, can show her destiny like fate what what uh, what's the next uh, the next thing that Nastya done maybe she, right now she's a really easy woman maybe maybe not it is all God's plan that we have. Okay, it was first story. Let's talk about also second grade of school. Second grade of school, I was in my school and uh, I was a boy who was saying not really nice words to boys, to girls, not, not to, to, to girls, uh, to, to boys. To boys I was speaking and it was kind of in a funny way. I thought that slugging, slugging. Like when you call someone not really nice words. And I know where m maybe I found these words. Because I was uh, living in a family with uh, something. Always speaking rude words to each other. And uh, my mom, by the way, didn't say rude words to someone. It, it was almost from father to me. Or from father to my mother. Or from father to my... Uh, to my sister some sometimes said I don't I don't think don't think so it is only possibility that maybe came to me from maybe this type of nature maybe I found these words from him because uh, you understand children will not say rude or bad words without uh, without knowing these words and where could I found, find them where I don't remember times uh, when, maybe from ch uh, kindergarten, maybe, but uh, kindergarten boys and girls, d I don't remember that I could find, found uh, this uh, bad words from this place. But okay, story about second grade. And by the way, father, it's okay. Uh, I don't have uh, something bad for you or you have uh, maybe bad for me. It's it's okay it, or bad. <sighs> okay, you understand if you are watching me right now, but thank you. Thank you a lot for watching me, by the way. You have your opinion, I have my own opinion and we are here and we are respecting each other. And uh, second grade, kindergarten, 
Oh no, uh, school. And I was a boy who was speaking rude and bad and offensive words to people, to boys, especially fat boys. And in my in my classroom, I remember we had a boy, Roma. He is my friend, by the way. He after that became my friend. And uh, at second grade, I was saying to him, "Hey, you are a pork." Hey, you are a fat guy. Hey, you are fat bus. Hey, you are... In Russian version, I try to collect all the things like, Hey, you are a pig. You are... Uh, you are super fat uh, sandwich. And uh, I was speaking to him these words till the one moment. When one day revenge came to me and it was kind of unexpected. I was going... We, after four subjects for lessons like uh, in school we have lessons one lesson 40 minutes 40 40 40 right now it is 45 but uh, previously it was 40 it had uh, 40 hours and after two four lessons we should go home and also we have the wardrobe wardrobe or maybe coat coat room room of coats you know that overcoat rooms when all the things collected your your jackets are collected in one place coat room yes i think that i said it correct and uh, in one day after these four lessons we should go to this place and we we we've we've gone to this place and i was finding my jacket okay and uh, this coat room it is kind of uh, the cage caged i mean that uh, with like a prison this way and i remember i was uh, taking my jacket and after that i was uh, kind of turning to the left and going to the out of it and i found the roma who who was doing do you know what he was standing like a guard and then nah, <laughs> this way <laughs> and to my balls to testicles and it was revenge and after this time, I started to use less words, offensive words to these people, these fat people, because uh, it is offensive. And I only use it in a slagging way, not in, in a way of that I want to really make someone cry. And in previous time, I was using it not in a way that I wanted to be toxic or something. I wanted to be funny. Hey, dude, you are looking fat. It's amazing. And... Uh, <laughs> but uh, previously I didn't think that uh, looking fat is amazing, but it's okay, he's a fat person, it's okay to say to him these words. In those times I thought this way. And it is one more cringe story, and uh, okay, don't say bad words to people. One more story, it is really what I don't want that I regret, but misconception story. It was in second grade too, and... Uh, I was always uh, in the second grade, uh, or, or this time, uh, I want to say, Maxim, sorry for it. Maxim, I'm extremely sorry for it. And uh, really, excuse me if you did not excuse me. Today, I, by the way, had a dream with him. Had a dream, like I was sleeping, and uh, I was dreaming, and he was inside of this dream. And I want to say really sorry for the things that happened in the second grade. And the story is... I don't know if it is cringe or not, but it is more sad or maybe some learning stuff. It was on the... Do you know things like corporate party? Corporate party of our school. Like disco time. Disco time for mini disco of children. Kind of, I will call it this way, okay? Corporate party of children, second grade. We were hanging out, we were like partying and uh, something like Hey, it's okay to be <laughs> gay, <laughs> it's okay to be nice uh, boys and girls and uh, we were doing uh, some clapping and also, you know, corporate party. It is uh, singing songs, doing some recitative things and uh, ha having fun together with people. 
And then we were... By the way, It's Okay to Be Gay, it was uh, the the rhyme that I used, not like the what we were singing about. It is uh, not... Uh, I respect this type of people, but it is not the type of things that we were singing. By the way, if you may... <laughs> Rain of Gas, oh, Jesus Christ. And, uh, okay, we... In this... Uh, in, on this day, we had a party with uh, boys, girls... Also class uh, class teacher and also parents like 10 15 parents and I remember in one moment we went out from this party to the corridor corridor of the school and I was speaking to the to the Maxim Maxim hello and uh, he said uh, it was the talk about like uh, greetings so we were doing like he was he wanted to have a conversation with me he maybe thought that i'm a good guy and he started to speak with me in a way of oh your mom is working in uh, oh your mom is working on local history local local history museum like uh, he was saying it and it was intonation of what i i i think I thought, I thought, I had thought in those ways that it was intonation kind of that he wants to touch me or maybe, oh, your mom th- th- works as a as an excursion guide. Ah, ah. And I, I said to him, ah, and your mom is working right now. She is a homeless and right now she is touching bottles of water and finding the, your money or something like this. I started, to, I started to joke back to him about this and he didn't understand joke and it was not a really nice joke it was offensive joke i want to say like oh your mom is homeless or something yeah <laughs> boy and uh, oh, jesus christ it was not nice but yes if we will call it in a comedy style that it is nice but in a way of uh, <clears throat> in a way of like uh, real life it was not really nice like uh, to say to this uh, to 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 say about someone's mom th- these things and uh, he understood it incorrect he didn't understand he didn't catch my joke of uh, mom's joke and uh, he went to the mother and said uh, to mother that this dude was saying to you not really nice words what uh, what the hell he he was saying it to her uh, mother and maybe after that his mother was uh, speaking to him that it is na- not nice he said also to me that why are we speaking about me this words it is not r- really nice and <clears throat> it was the communi- communication and after that i remember it was a hell hell of doings like on third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth uh, grades he was like uh, against me he was always stalking me, and he remembered this time, and uh, it is really scary. And uh, I said after that to him, "Excuse me, I'm really sorry." I said to him many times it, and uh, after that his father, uh, his father de- is dead, and uh, I I won't say that it was on seventh or eighth grade, and uh, it was uh, really I rest in peace uh, to his father, and uh, it was the time when he was kind of doing revenge of real revenge and so inner revenge and i don't know is he did he forget it have have he forgot this now have he forgotten it now and uh, if nope then i'm a little bit of scared or something and uh, i want to say excuse me maxim i didn't want to say to you any offensive words in those times all that i was saying it was in a really i don't want to say that it was kind of polite but it was slagging time slagging it means in uh, in uh, how to say it Irish in Ireland in Ireland means that you are saying rude words to be a friend with someone and uh, it was it, it and this man didn't understand me in this type of words and uh, yes and maybe I didn't catch his intonation firstly when he said to me like oh your mom uh, is working on local museum maybe I thought in those 
times that it is not really a nice work. And uh, I thought that uh, maybe he is joking on my mom, and I started to joke back to him because, uh, like, to be. I, I was in the defense, maybe, and I was saying these words. But. Okay, and it was this second joke. It was previous time. Okay, let's be historical correct about this time. And uh, we we can't change the past. We can create the future by knowing the past. Yes, <clears throat> and it was amazing experience to me. Not saying these words again, and uh, only if uh, in a good uh, type of things, and if you feel that someone is kind of innerly feeling Jesus Christ, what the hell is this dude uh, doing, then need to say sorry and excuse me. And if you have fun together, then okay, well, let's fun. <clears throat> Use these offensive things only in a way of jokes, okay? Not in a real life, it is moral. And uh, next, moral, not moron, moral. <laughs> next story, let's do this more funnier. It was uh, revenge of uh, Maxim, but in a way of uh, with his friend Kostya. Kostya is my friend too, he's working right now on Rosgvardia. It is uh, Russian, uh, Russian SWAT, Russian Navy SEALs, uh, but in... Uh, like policemen, but uh, a royal, a royal policemen of Russian Federation, who are only for president or something like this. And uh, he's working right now not there. And uh, previously we were playing games together with Kostya, and uh, he went to my, to my house, and we were playing GTA, Grand Theft After. Also, we were playing together Call of Duty. Also what we did play we played together the game called i i don't remember fully uh, he liked mafia a lot the game also we played together uh, counter strike counter strike we, we were playing ks and okay it was story from sixth grade or something and uh, in those times i remember we had something like Three Wishes game, a game not playing computer, but real life. And uh, in Russian language, they are called Natri Poshluch. It is uh, some game that's super, I don't know, rules and I... It is uh, the game, like, you can say to anyone, Ah, oh, you have me, you have for me three wishes. You have for me three wishes, and uh, if you will not do that, you are a not bad, uh, you are not a good guy, you are like a loser. If you will not do my three wishes, you are a loser. And it is kind of, really, uh, I imagine, you are a boy in Russian school, and you are like a boy who is offensive to people, and if you will not do me three wishes, then you are a loser. Ultimative thing. You give me three wishes, or you are a loser. Or you will you will give me a house, or you are a loser. Huh? Huh? You give me likes, or you are a loser. <laughs> so, okay, okay, it's it's not for you, we, uh, we, but uh, smash like by the way if you want, and uh, not don't be a loser, yes. And <laughs> okay, it's it's joking time, kidding, just kidding. And uh, we you are. Uh, in this, those times of school time that uh, people can say, rude people can say to you, you do for me three wishes or you are a loser or you are not a good guy. You are like a slum dog right now. You are super not nice person. Okay? And uh, it was this type of things. And Kostya and Maxim, they were friends. They said to me this type of things. You need to ask three wishes. It means that you will do for us three wishes. Or you are a not good guy. And we will not speak to you. And uh, it is uh, really requirements of... I don't know. It is a game, but uh, super... I don't understand the rules of this. It is kind of like you are a ruler now you are a tsar and you said this as a god to someone you are on a higher level and uh, you are like uh, it is not equality it is uh, like they are higher and uh, okay they said to me and uh, i was in a way of remembering that uh, maybe it will, it will be a nice thing to forget about the past of second grade with maxim and uh, 
I didn't think this way, but I thought that, uh, yes, okay, I will do this. Because I really was not a guy who wanted to punch and do something against of it. I was uh, like a morning boy and uh, crying boy. And uh, in those times, I remember first wish, I remember something really easy was, second uh, was really easy, in a way of like, uh, let's go to this guy and uh, let's uh, hug him, or maybe let's uh, let's kind of kiss this girl, but uh, this type of wishes, yeah, really easy, uh, I can do this. And I am so thankful that they were wishing to me, because right now I can do really cringe things and I don't feel myself like I have something inside of me, fault or... Uh, no, not fault, like uh, regret, regret of something. I don't uh, feel it so much. And third wish. Third wish was they should create to me something to eat and I should eat it. And they made a um, cake, not cake, but um, cracker, cracker, you know, like... Uh, crackers crackers or uh, what's the name cookie 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 they made a cookie they was doing it they were peeling it with um with a soap soap yes soap and uh, they rubbed it with a soap it means that it was uh, soaped uh, soaped uh, covered covered cookie and also they said to me that uh, they were touching their genitals uh, before it and uh, they g gave it to me. And I don't know, I didn't see them touching it, but it was really with, uh, with a taste of, uh, with a taste of, so of a soap. And they gave it to me and I ate it. Not fully, but uh, I ate it a, a little bit, like a few bites. And uh, after this time... I was uh, like a cool guy <laughs> because I made their three wishes and it's okay. It means that I'm right now a ruler of this country. I'm right now the ruler of this school. I'm right now the coolest boy in this school because I may I achieved the three wishes of these boys. And uh, <laughs> okay, and uh, nice story by the way. What do you think about it? Do, do you have some, like, uh, don't understand your rules games? I understand this uh, rule, this rules, uh, these rules are really, like, governmental. You should pay taxes for us. Like this game, yes? We give it, uh, we give it to, to you, like, you are a nice uh, citizen of our country, and you should pay taxes for us. And uh, it is the same type of game, like, uh, we will, we will, you should do our three wishes, and you will be a nice guy, yes? It is the same, we understand, kind of, uh, we can do analogies with it. And, okay, it was three cringe stories. I can tell you also more. But maybe in this next time, let me know, did you like it? And uh, if you liked, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And by the way, Maxim, sorry again. I'm extremely sorry. And everybody who was mentioned in this story, Nastya, my father, also mother of the, of the Maxim. I'm so extremely sorry. And uh, everybody who was mentioned... Uh, Thank you for being in my life, uh, that you gave to me this experience. After those times, uh, they determine who I am right now, in a kind of types of way. It doesn't mean that I'm like you, uh, like I'm the same as you, I'm like you. It means that I'm my own version and I can learn from it lessons, okay? And uh, learn lessons from your stories, from your life, my dear viewers, and go forward. Always go forward, everything will be fine. And uh, be cool and uh, always improve so daily. See you next time. You're a next day. Nice guy. Thank you for uh, Artem Goros, for Ryan, for one man with uh, nickname of uh, something, something like uh, Japanese like. I, I will open right now our uh, comment section. Maybe I will find you. One moment. Johnny Lovegood. Also for Sterling Moss, thank you a lot too. One moment I will open, it will be our comment section. Also to people who commented previously, one moment I will open. A Russian people who comment, Sergey Ignatiev, thank you. Also the team of Google, also Nature404, 
thank you Max Gunn, thank you Joel Vega, thank you Jamie Cross, Felipe Rodriguez, Ryan G, Yusno Eert, Pollux Sauros, Marison Manzano, Antonio Lucio Vivaldi, Isaac Music, also Fiona Morales Sanchez, Yasmin MN, thank you, The Marquesa and uh, different other people, Lion Lee too, and Zeharian Janodi, everybody, thank you, thank you a lot, be cool, Tom Johnston, Dustin, everybody, thank you, I respect you all, and uh, have a good day in Brussels, see you next time, bye bye.